My name's Caitlin, I'm 19 and I live in one of Centrepoint's independent living properties. Before I lived here at this property, I experienced a short period of homelessness where I lived with my sister for a few months. I was then placed into a hostel provided by a different organisation and I lived there for around a year and a half to two years. During lockdown, I spent most of my time looking at other options um, as I only had a year left on my tenancy licence at this point. Um, I contacted the council, there wasn't many options, they said they had a, a severe lack of housing. After discussing my options with the council, I looked into private renting. The prices for private renting were extortionate, even just for a room, it was like £800 per month. I would not have been able to prove to them that I could pay that amount a month for the whole year for them to trust me. So it was a case of like, okay, well the council's not going to help me now, I can't private rent, I've got a year left on my tenancy licence, like, panic mode. <laughs> so my support worker got in contact with me and told me about the Centrepoint Independent Living Scheme and the opportunity was like, what, that's an actual thing? <laughs> the attraction to the scheme was that it charges one third of your salary, which is amazing within itself, and it offers accommodation and a house for five years consistently, like, you're not going to get more stable than that. I was shown six flats in like a space of half an hour and I just didn't know where to look, I didn't know what to do. It's a completely renovated building. Um, it's a very lovely home, the atmosphere. It was incredibly overwhelming. I remember calling my cousin afterwards like, I can't believe it, I don't know what I'm going to do with that space. The day it came of me moving in, it was like so like, it was a proud moment to show my friends around. I was like, oh, it's upstairs, this is the living room. And like my friends were like, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it to look like that. And like FaceTime with my sister, it was so nice to share it with the family as well because they weren't doubtful, but you know your family, like, oh, please be careful. Please make sure you don't rush any, into anything and you're doing the right thing for yourself. So it was so nice to show them, like, you know what? I did rush into it, but it's paid off. <laughs> Living here has allowed me to think about my future. I can think about going to uni, the possibility of buying a car, saving for a mortgage, all things that normal people my age should be able to do, regardless of their upbringing or the situation that they're, they're put in. Centre Point means to me hope because it's nice to see that there's a charity or people out there trying to provide a stable foundation for people my age who haven't had it easy and allow them to actually prove themselves and show what they're capable of. So to me it just means hope and prosperity. I think it's incredibly important for there to be secure, affordable housing for young people, especially people who have not had the easiest upbringing or haven't come from the easiest background because we have such high expectations for people of our age and we can't expect us to reach those expectations without a solid foundation.